Welcome to Guided Mental Prayer. Close your eyes. Please kneel if you are able, or sit upright and attentive to prepare your heart to receive what God desires to tell you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, come upon me. Please teach us how to pray. We are all unworthy children. We've all sinned mightily against you. We are sorry for that. We need your help to be good. We need the gift of mental prayer. We ask you to have mercy on us and lead us to the truth. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit and they shall be created and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Lord, we pray you have mercy on us for all the sins we've committed and the things we failed to do, for all the ones known and the ones you've yet to show us. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more, and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Saint Michael, the devil does not want us to pray well. We ask that you wrap your wings of protection around us, so that we can hear the voice of God clearly without any distractions. Protect our minds. Protect us from any doubts, from any desolation. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My guardian angel, I love you. Please help me to pray well. Thank you for being here with me today and every day of my life. Help me to make this a fruitful meditation and a time of mental prayer. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and to guard, to rule and to guide. We will now pray for the intercession of your patron saint. When there is a pause, say your patron saint's name. Eternal Father, I wish to honor Saint, and I give you thanks for all the graces you have bestowed upon him or her. I ask you to please increase grace in my soul through the merits of this Saint, and I commit the end of my life to him or her by this special prayer, so that by virtue of your goodness and promise, Saint, might be my advocate and provide whatever is needed at that hour. Amen. Blessed Virgin Mary. I believe that you are really here, present. I believe that you love me. I believe that you're praying for me. I believe that you are the mediatrix of all grace. And you will give me the grace to do this well, because you love me. I consecrate this time of prayer to you. I do not know what I am doing, and I need your guidance. Help me to pray well. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus Christ, I believe you are really here, present. I believe you are in my soul. You want to teach me mental prayer, and I have to persevere. Help me to do this well. I believe that you are the head and I am the body, and you and I are connected and we are one. I believe you are holding me into existence. Help me to see you. Jesus, with this prayer please blind Satan, so that we might hear nothing but your will, O Lord, and whatever saints you wish to speak to us through. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together, may our hands gather in unity, may our hearts beat in unison, may our souls be in harmony, may our thoughts be as one, may our ears listen to the silence together, may our glances profoundly penetrate each other, may our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. We will meet you in today's Gospel. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. 
It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land, and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants, and puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them, as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. Now imagine, be present in that moment. You feel the warm glow of the sun on your face and a gentle afternoon breeze, as you and the others listen to Jesus. He says, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land, and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. He knows not how. Of its own accord the land yields fruit. First the blade, then the ear, than the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. What seeds is God asking you to scatter? Where does he want you to scatter them? What ripe grains has God placed in front of you to harvest with a sickle at once? Are you delaying in harvesting them? He looks at you and loves you and says, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants, and puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. Jesus comes up to you and hands you a seed. It's so small that you can barely see it. And he says to you, Take this and go forth and plant it. Do you plant it? At first after you plant it, it does nothing, but much later it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches, and many birds come to visit it and dwell in its shade. And Jesus asks you, do you see what I have planned for you? Tell him what's on your heart and listen to him.
Blessed Mother, you are our sweetness and our hope. We consecrate our prayer life to you. We cannot do it without your assistance. Grant us the graces to pray when we don't want to. Grant us the graces to wake up and get on our knees or sit straight. And offer our day to Jesus through you. Lord, we believe. Help our unbelief. Lord, we love you. Forgive us for not loving you more. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.